Now what we're going to do is set our library object to to in this object input stream read object and this will return an object again we need to cast this to a library object because this is just an object and this expects a library object why is this giving me an error um, Oh, okay, this. Just use this. Alright, sorry about that. What am I doing? Alright. Now that we're done using the uh, file input stream, the object input stream, we need to close them. Alright. Now, what are we going to do if this file doesn't exist? Well, we're simply going to tell the user that the file doesn't exist. the file let's insert a new line there the file does not exist will that do it um, if exist so this if ends here okay anyway, that does it all right so basically this will read our serialized object. Oh and make sure that uh make sure that our file name has an extension of .ser because when we save a serializable object, a serialized object, the extension must be .ser. So we're going to read a .ser file. So just go ahead and add that here. All right, then we pretty much uh, completed our first case. And let me show you guys a way to make our code a little neater. Instead of putting this inside our, inside our switch and case statement, this whole thing, what we're going to do is actually make a method out of this whole thing. So the way we do that is... Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So copy, cut it. Alright, cut it. And we're going to create a method called load script. And it takes in the file name. It takes in a string. And one cool thing about uh, Java is if you hover over this, you can choose this and it's going to add the skeleton for the uh, method name load script so let's scroll down and here we have it ooh magic just uh, set this to file name sorry <clears throat> alright this passes that in and uh, basically all we do is just paste our code and simply just yeah that's it pretty much done right I think yeah yeah that should be it and now our code looks a little bit cleaner uh, instead of doing this instead of uh, saying file name equals in dot next let me just go ahead and put that here just to get rid one uh, just to get rid of one line of code right let's make sure this is name go all right okay so let's move on to our next case the case in which we uh, save and quit let me just put some spaces here all right. Now, all right. For our save and quit, we're also going to create a method for that. So save and quit. 
and it doesn't take in any parameters. So just over over this, create method, and scroll down. There's, here we go. Now what this save and quit is going to do, it, it's pretty much, it's basically uh, going to be almost exactly the same as, as this lines of code here. But uh, it's going to be a little different. So here we go. So prompt the user to enter a file name. Enter file name. And just set file name equal to in dot next. And let's actually do it this way because I, you know, we set up a variable all the way up here and we're not even using it. So let's let's put that to use. Let's just set it to that. And we also need to set running to false. So that once this save and quit is done, it will break and it go. It'll uh, the loop will break and it'll go here. And it's going to check. Well, while running, well, while running is now false. So we're just going to exit our application. And let's make sure that uh, once this while loop is done, it exits our application. So system dot exit. And we need to put in a status, just put in zero. All right. Now we need to create a file output stream since we're writing a file instead of reading. FOS equals null object output stream. out equals null. Import that, java.io. Now, let's initialize it. Oh, and make sure that the file name has the .ser extension. It's very important. So just put that in there. Or you can also do it here, but uh, just do it here. Again, surround with try and catch. Initialize our instantiate, our uh, object output stream. And it takes in the... Uh, file output stream. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to simply, what is this? Okay, so it's throw an exception. Hold on a moment, I misspelled something. Object output stream. Add catch clause to surrounding try. All right. All we're going to do is out dot write object lib, and then now we're done. Just close it. Everything close it. Close this. Close that. 